Music math. Why not? Why not do some music math? Yes, we can divide, multiply, add, subtract with music notes. We can even do percentages. For example, this is very simple. Right here, we have a 1 9th, which equals 11%, a 1 8th, which equals 12%, 1 7th equals 14%. And 1 6 equals 16 percent. How do we solve this? Very simple. When you see a fraction such as these fractions and they want you to convert them into percentages, very simple. Just get the 9, put the 1 at the top, and put a decimal point into zeros. And 9 does not go into 1, right? No. But does 9 go into 10? Yes, one time. So we put a 1 in the top, 1 times 9 is 9, subtract, minus 1, bring down the 0, another 1. Stop right there, it's an 11%. Let's go to the next one, a 1 8. Again, get the denominator, put it outside, then the numerator, 1, with a decimal, 0 0.200. 0. 8 into 1, no, but does 8 go into 10? Yes, how many? 1, 1 times 8, 8, subtract, to bring down the zero. 8 into 20, let's see, 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24, oh, 3 will be too much, 24 is too much, then 2, all right, 2, 2 times 8, 16, subtract 4, all right, 12%. All right, let's move on to the next one, 1 7, get the denominator, 7. Why do you keep putting a 1 decimal point zero zero? It's the one on the top, on the numerator. This is the denominator. This is the numerator. Does the 7 go into 1? No. Does the 7 go into 10? Yes. Put a 1. 7 minus 3. 0. 4. 4 times 7 is 28. You have to be really quick with your timetables. Okay, now how do we incorporate our music notes? Easy. Let's start with the 11%. So we have an 11%. If I write a whole note and I tie it to another whole note, that's four and four, and four and four equals to eight. And I tie it to a half note, that's two, now it's ten and I tie it to a quarter note and there's my one 11 so 11 will look like this or can look like this a whole note and another whole note 8, 9, 10, a half note, 2 beats 11 very simple can we do it a different way? of course a whole note Tie it to a dotted half note, that's 7. Tie it 7 to another whole note, you have 11. 4, dotted half note 3, whole note 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You have to remember the whole note equals 4. The dotted half note equals 3, whole note equals 4, whole note equals 4 beats, whole note equals 4 beats, half note equals only 2 beats, and the quarter note equals 1 beat, and the quarter note equals 1 beat, whole note 4, whole note 4, half note 2, quarter note 1, D um, whole note 4, dotted half note 3, and whole note 4. That's it. And to convert the fraction into percentage, get the denominator, put it outside, put the numerator inside, and divide. Very simple. Math can be great fun. The great thing about math is that when you start thinking about it, there are so many different formulas. It's not always fixated into one formula. You saw the music notes? We can vary it. It doesn't always have to be four whole notes, right, tied. It could be a whole note tied with a dotted half note and then tie it with another whole note. Or you can add five quarter notes, that's five beats, and then 
tie it to two dotted half notes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You can change it. It's not a fixed formula. At least not in all um, in all math problems. You can try to be creative and make up your own formula. Right? Okay. Well, we hope that was okay. That you understand. Practice, convert, get the denominator, put it outside, and then the numerator inside with a decimal point and two zeros. How difficult is that? It should be a pretty simple lesson in changing or converting fractions into percentages. And of course, what's the fraction one half into a percentage? A half. 50%. Excellent. See you next time.